Swami tells us the story of uh, the man, the, the, the man who gathered walnuts from the road in order to gather money, and then he sold the walnuts and he bought yarn. I mean, just you, you see this whole story of this older man who was probably solitary, who, who loved uh, Master. He gathered walnuts from the road that were just the gleanings. He sold them to get money. He bought yarn and he hooked a rug. I, you know, you have, you have these tiny little vignettes, and many of you have read the, the path, the new path it is now. When Swami uh, wrote that book, it was the last book he wrote before he had a computer to write with. And so I had the extraordinary privilege of typing that book, that manuscript, over and over and over. So I know the book. <laughs> well, I, and I know that story. But thinking about it just this morning, I said, I don't know that story. I never put myself into the position of that, that elder man. And where, where did he sit when he hooked that rug? And so then he hooked a rug, which was a picture of Sri Uteshwar. Even just that, like, you're hooking a rug that's a picture of Sri Uteshwar? Like, where does all this come from? He presents it to Master, the, 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 the devotion to Guru that is so deep in all of that, and the power of that devotion to compel um, actions from us that nothing else could compel. And he gives it to Master. Master hangs it outside his room. So think of the, all of the force that was there the way the disciple loved Master, the fact that that disciple wanted to give Yogananda a picture of his guru. It's like, what would be precious to you? I mean, all of that was there. It's just right there in that little story, if we stop and think about it. Every in a grain of sand, infinity is in a grain of sand. And then Master, as Swami writes, Every time he would go in and out of his room, he would prono to that picture. Because Master knew who he was. He was the product of Sri Yukteswar's training. Well, Babaji's training, truthfully, Master's guru was really Babaji, but he was sent to Sri Yukteswar. Babaji wanted him in this incarnation to have Sri Yukteswar as the manifested form. And without the, the slightest sense of how important we think Yogananda is, he saw himself as he truly was.